All right, so we came down from the main road. It's about 150 meters to a waterfall. Climbed down a rope ladder, about um, 15 meters. And we made it down to the river. Water's a bit higher than we'd like, and all the rocks are wet, so this is gonna be really, really sketchy. We tried to pick a time where it hasn't rained in about a week, but still it doesn't seem to matter. In this canyon, you can see you have limestone, which uh, in portions has been recrystallized and altered to marble. Uh, you have lots of uh, stringers of calcite, lots of impurities in there, and occasionally you'll see disseminated pyrite and calcopyrite. This whole area over here looks like it's all been eroded behind that rock. Normally where we'd cross is we'd hop from here to that rock and then over there, but that doesn't look like we can do that right now. Water's just too high, so we'll have to figure out another way. We're not really finding any way around. We could jump to that rock, but it's uh, pretty dangerous, so I think we'll just walk across. Should have brought the hip waders this time, eh? <laughs> 20 minutes, soaked pants and boots later. We got another area to get wet on. When the water's lower, you can step on there and jump over to there. And it's low enough there that you can jump out of the water, but I think we're just gonna have to wade across again because there is no other way. That rock is covered in algae and we both just ate it and fell in the water. All these rocks, all the limestone especially, and marble, they have little voids or little caves, and right here the water's just coming out of the, uh, the side of the mountain, it's not coming from above. If you go down farther, you can see some pretty nice caves that go back in 10, 15 feet. You have this kind of off-colored outcrop here of scarnified rock, and uh, there's some magnetite on it. But you can see there, you have some calcopyrite as well. There's loads of these all over the place, just sticking out everywhere. It looks like there's a bunch here. There's some pyrite. Yeah, you got calcopyrite there. Just hammered off a big chunk here. You can see uh, massive calcopyrite. It's a little pod here. Some malachite staining. So this is uh, mostly magnetite here with a little bit of calcopyrite. This is mostly calcopyrite with a little magnetite. And here it's sort of a mix of the two. You have more scarnified bedrock with massive magnetite and pyrite and calcopyrite. Over here, starting over there and going all the way around here. And then there's volcanics right in the middle, a green chloritized volcanic rock. Then you have more massive mineralization all up in here and down here. And then you have more your volcanics. Another little pod there, a little bit of a break with more volcanics. And then you have a massive pod right here, which goes up a ways. So. This right here is about 15 meters wide, 
This right here is about 15 to 16 meters wide. And there's lots and lots of float boulders. That one right there is a three meter wide float boulder and it's just loaded with mineralization. So we're gonna try and cross somehow and get over to that showing. We're gonna try and sample all along here. We're gonna to have to walk through the water, I think. So we've been walking up and down trying to find a way and all these boulders have just moved since the last time we were here throughout the winter. So there's not really any good path. It's actually more dangerous down there. So we're just gonna walk across, I guess. We wanna to get to this showing and along here uh, we can kind of climb on the edge and sample the whole thing. On our way over, we noticed a new float boulder here. So you can see this black here is all massive magnetite. Then you have massive pyrite and calcopyrite all up in here. Very nice looking. We're almost at the showing. We can just walk across easily now. So basically, all this right here too, all the way along here, is all one big showing with a little bit of your uh, host rock showing. So these are actually tabular ore bodies and uh, you can see it kind of skewed by the rocks over here but this actually continues in the creek along this fault going up the creek and we did find stuff over there exposed right on the edge of bedrock this is that giant really nice boulder I just showed you and uh, take a look at some of the bedrock here. You can just see massive calcopyrite all over it. Another float one right here. This is all massive calco. The whole thing is massive calco with uh, minor magnetite. So we're going to take a bunch of chip samples now, all along here. Just number two is on there. He's going to make his way up along the edge and take some more chip samples. We'll show you guys at the end what we get. Okay, so just before we head out, I thought I'd show you some of the samples we pulled from this. You can see that's just massive calco showing now. Same with here. I just pulled this piece from right there. All these are from all over this bedrock. Last sample, I was working a big hunk right there. Pieces like this were coming out. And then I just pulled this massive honker right here. I'd like to take this whole thing back with me, but I don't think it's feasible. This is like easily 50, 60 pounds. It's very concentrated. So that's it, hope you guys enjoyed the video. When he gets down and pulls the sample from there, we're gonna head out. So take care, we'll see you guys next video.